Are you thinking of buying a Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 gaming chair, but you're kind of worried about the long-term lifespan? Maybe you've had a gaming chair before that fell apart after a couple of months, or maybe you've read some not-so-positive things online somewhere. Whatever it is, today we're going to take a one-year look at my Titan Evo 2022, talk about my experience, the issues that have popped up, and give my overall opinion to help you make that purchasing decision. Now, I did do an eight-month follow-up a few months ago, but a few things have changed since then, so it's important that we address those things, as none of us want to spend half a thousand dollars on a chair that we'll have to replace within a year. Two things. First, this video is not sponsored by Secret Lab. However, if you end up finding this video helpful and are going to purchase, I'd super appreciate you using my link in the description below, which really helps to support my channel so I can afford to buy new things to review. Second, because I'm not sure how long it'll take Secret Lab to address and resolve the issues I'm having, I'm breaking this video up into two separate videos, today's which will discuss the problems and give my thoughts on the chair, and a follow-up video to discuss what Secret Lab did to fix my issues and how long it took them to resolve them. Now once that's uploaded, I'll leave an end screen at the end of this video to take you there. So being that I use this chair on average of six or so hours a day, and this is the Arctic White Soft Weave, which is no doubt going to be harder to keep clean, and I am an extra oily person whose skin comes into daily contact with my chair, it's no wonder I started to see some signs of yellowing. Now, luckily for me, my oils don't seem to be the direct cause, as the first thing I noticed is the light water stain on the seat, which I intentionally caused. In my soft weave versus leatherette video I did about 10 months ago, I splashed a small amount of water on the seat to show off its absorbing properties and hadn't really noticed all this time as my room is dark, but it appears to have left behind a light brown water stain. You can also see this yellowing along the top border of the chair, which appears to be more prominent along the backside than the front, and I'm not really sure how this happened as I don't come into contact with this and don't really ever touch this part of the chair, but after reaching out to Secret Lab, they're going to send me some of their soft weave fabric wipes so I can try it out and see if that restores the chair back to its new condition. This is a perfect scenario to see how well these products work, so stay tuned for that. Another big issue when I first got the chair, and one that was shared by many, was the seat and backrest noise the chair put out which definitely caused some negative reactions. Secret Lab remedied this by giving you instructions on how you could move the lumbar support up and down and in and out several times until the creaking went away, and by releasing the barrier kit which was placed along the sides of the seat and made a huge difference, in fact it completely nullified the seat noise for me. And while my chair has been quiet about a month ago, out of nowhere, noises came back and this time it's louder than ever before in two specific spots. First, let's address the backrest noise. I reached out and was advised to try the same method as before, and just in case you're not familiar with what that is, let me show you exactly what I did. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to make sure that your lumbar is set to its lowest position and it's as flat as it can possibly be. So once you do that, then you'll wanna go ahead and adjust your lumbar so it sticks out as far as possible. Once it's out as far as possible, then you'll want to raise it to its max height. Now that it's at its max height, you want to lower it back down while it's still sticking out as far as possible. This allows the lumbar to be raised and lowered all the way to its max settings while the lumbar support is sticking out as far as it can possibly go. And once it's back to the lowest setting, you'll want to twist it so that the lumbar goes flat again. Just like that. It might take you more than one try. For me, it really only took just the one. Uh, but now you can kind of adjust it to taste and it should be quiet now. 
This seems to have resolved the problem for now, we'll see if it comes back. But the other loud spot and the bigger problem is that as of about six weeks ago, the piston now lets out a loud creaking noise whenever I move, but especially when I turn. Okay, so right in here where this, this piece meets this piece in the piston, this is where all the noise is coming out of right here. As you can imagine, trying to shoot a YouTube video and record audio, it can be very distracting. Support was notified August 4th, and since I'm only one year in, I should be covered under the warranty. If I'm able to take care of the stains and eliminate the piston noise, my chair will be the same condition as it was on day one. If you've made it this far into the video and you're finding this helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to help my small channel grow. So in the year that I've owned it and have used it as my daily driver, those were the only issues I've developed, so I've got nothing else negative to report. With that said, there are a few areas where this chair and brand really shine that I feel should be mentioned. So number one, look, let's be honest, there's a lot of gaming chair brands out there with more popping up as time goes on, and there's a reason Secret Lab continues to dominate the gaming chair market. If you look through my channel, you'll see a fair amount of different gaming chair reviews, and no matter how many other brands get sent my way, I always come back to my Titan Evo, even with gaming chairs costing twice the price. Build quality still remains the best, as where other chairs I've tried have a plastic and cheap feel. Customizability is king with the crazy amount of designs to match whatever aesthetic you've got going on, and the warranty is probably the best in the industry. You add in accessories like these plush cell memory foam armrests, and let me tell you, if you've got a soft weave that matches, these are absolutely a must buy. I highly recommend them. The soft feel on your forearms with the soft weave material at your back is just a perfect pairing. Now look, I'm not a Secret Lab salesman, I don't work for the company. In fact, every single Secret Lab chair that I featured and reviewed on my channel was paid for out of my pocket so I could do these reviews. I just stand by certain brands that have proven themselves to be reliable, and in my experience, Secret Lab is one of them. The only thing I'd really like to see is more customizability with their Magnus desk, which is pretty much black on black. Now they did just release the Assassin's Creed mag pad and chair, which are mostly white and are super dope in my opinion, but I feel like if they released more color combinations, maybe an all white mag pad, red, blue, or carbon fiber to fit more home setups, it would make the desk even more attractive. But Secret Lab, if you're watching, I really think you would kill the market if you released mag pads that simulated wood surfaces like bamboo, American oak, different shades of grays, charcoal, you get the picture, but by having so many color combinations, you not only capture the gaming chair market, but probably take over the desk market in general with so many looks. Those are just my thoughts, do with it what you will. Now that's going to wrap it up for today. You can trust that I'm probably going to do a two year, maybe even a three year review, maybe even a my Titan Evo is finally dead video should that day ever come because I know it'll help you out and you'll want to know just how long the chair lasted. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop that in the comments below, but that's going to do it for today. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great rest of your day.